The overthrown Gabonese president, Ali Bongo, wants everybody to make noise, saying he's been arrested, his son is somewhere, and his wife is in another place, so he wants everyone to make some noise and be reinstated as president of Gabon. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the African web channel so you won't miss out on our next video. Also, press the notification bell. Listen to what the overthrown Gabonese President Ali Bongo said after he was captured by the military. I'm Ali Bongo, Onjimba, President of Gabon. And I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise, to make noise. For the people here have arrested me and my family. My son is somewhere, my wife is, is, is in another place and I'm at the residence. Right now, I'm at the residence and nothing happening, nothing is happening. I don't know what, what's going on. So I'm calling you to make noise, to make noise, to make noise, really. I'm, I'm thanking you. Thank you. On Wednesday, August 30, 2023, a group of soldiers announced a coup d'etat in Gabon, claiming to have ousted the president of the country's oil-rich Central African country from office. Peuple gabonais et garant de la protection des institutions avons décidé de défendre la paix en mettant fin au régime en place. A cet effet, les élections générales du 26 août 2023 ainsi que les résultats tronqués sont annulés. Les frontières sont fermées jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Toutes les institutions de la République sont dissoutes. After Gabonese President Ali Bongo was re-elected for a third term in an election that was criticized by foreign observers, the military junta delivered the news on state television hours later. Twelve armed men in uniform identified themselves as members of the Committee of Transition and the Restoration of Institutions and declared the election to have been rigged. They also said that the results had been cancelled. All borders had been closed until further notice, and all state institutions had been dissolved. Our beautiful country, Gabon, has consistently been a place of peace. A significant institutional, political, economic, and social crisis is currently affecting the nation, the troops declared in the broadcast address. A continuous decline in social cohesion has also been caused by reckless, unpredictable government, endangering the stability of this country. We call for calm and serenity among the populace, the communities of sister countries established in Gabon, and Gabonese living abroad, the statement continued. We reaffirm our dedication to upholding Gabon's obligations to the country and the world. The president, they claimed, was placed under house arrest at his residence in Libreville, the capital of Gabon. Following the passing of his father, who had ruled Gabon since 1967, 64-year-old Ali Bongo took office as president in 2009 in Gabon. The junta claimed to have chosen General Bryce Oligui Ngema to lead the committee and lead the transitional government. Traffic restrictions have been relaxed, and Ngema has ordered the restoration of fiber-optic cable and foreign radio and TV transmissions across the nation. What do you think about our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.